Uh, okay, so you have oscillate. Let's draw this. Here's our antenna here connected to this power supply. And we have electrons. Let me draw it. Let me draw it more, uh, draw it thicker so we can actually draw the electrons inside that are either accelerating that way or accelerating that way. Okay. So here's my detector, and I bring it to an observation location in front of this thing. So I'm out here, right? And this is my wire connected to the light bulb. And the bulb lights up. So what's happening? Charges are accelerating and therefore doing what? Emitting electromagnetic radiation in where? In what directions? Okay, out. All directions. All directions except what? The line of the acceleration, right? The line of the acceleration. So here I am. I'm at a, I'm at a location, and I draw an R vector basically from the antenna out to here, right? So that's R. Well, do I have an A perpendicular? Yeah, absolutely, right? Because the acceleration is either that way or that way. R is that way. So A is definitely, no matter what way they're accelerating, A is definitely perpendicular to R. So what way is going to, what is going to be the direction of E radiative when it reaches our detector? The, the direction of the field. The direction of propagation is out. But what's the direction of E radiative? Parallel to the bar, right? Because it's got to be either in the, either this way or this way based on the direction negative Q times A perpendicular, right? This is, let's just for a moment imagine an electron accelerating in that direction, so to, in the positive X direction. And R is pointing in the positive Z direction. So when we get an E radiative here, that's going to point in what direction? Based on negative Q A perpendicular. Negative times a negative gives us a positive, and so it's going to be pointing in the positive x direction. So we're going to get an electric field pointing in the positive x direction. Well, what have I got inside this? What, what is this? It's a wire. What's a wire have? Mobile electrons. It's a, it's a metal wire. So what is that E radiative doing? Driving? A driving an alternating current, driving an alternating current back and forth inside the wire and therefore inside the, uh, the filament of the light bulb as well. Okay. Now, it's alternating. How come, we, how come we see the light bulb burning at a constant rate? How come we don't see it flickering? Say again. It, it's fa okay, for one thing, it's fast. Right. The, 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 uh, we have a frequency here that's... It's a very rapid frequency. In fact, we can calculate it in just a second. And even if it were slow, um, the light bulb heats up, right? And then it gets it, it takes a while for it to cool back down. So, but it, it's happening rap so rapidly that we can see we see sort of a continuous uh, burning of of the uh, or brightness to the filament. Okay. So why does it go out? Okay, the, you're. The acceleration, the radiation is this way. Radiation is oriented that way or that way, right? So how is that going to affect the charges in the wire? It won't drive it across the, the, the filament, right? It may, in fact, we, yeah, I mean, the acceleration may be that way and that way, but that's not the length we want. We want the acceleration along the length to drive a current. Yeah. What if I bent the ends of the wires? Let's see. Um, not enough. Let's see if we do more here. Uh, a little bit. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see a little bit of brightness. More than I, more than we had before. And it's also... We angle... Okay, so what if we angle it? So here it's completely perpendicular. If I can rearrange it again. So I angle it 
In fact, I don't need, even need that much angle. I don't, I don't know if you can, but I can already see. Can you guys see it burning a little bit? Yeah. And the more I angle it, the stronger it gets because I have a more of a component along the axis that I want, right? If I, if I go like this, then the component along the, the wire is zero. But if I angle it even a little bit, I've got some radiative field component. I sort of decompose the vector, right? I know it's that way. But I can consider a component along the direction of the, of the wire. And I get some current. I get some current, OK? Why does it go out over here? It's on the same direction as the accelerating charges, right? No radiation along the direction of acceleration. Lift it up a little bit. Um, well, the other, the other confound we start running into is that, remember, there's a distance dependence. So it's a 1 over r distance. And so if I start bringing it too far away, it starts to go out. Now, if I, now along this direction, yeah, well, I've got a, I've, it's smaller because of what? The angle means I've got what? What's, what's the direction of acceleration? That way, right? But, but the r is now that way. Yeah, you have a component that of a, the smaller a perpendicular component, right? A smaller a perpendicular component. Yeah. And I don't want to I don't want to bring it too close. I could actually burn the light bulb out. And then back here, you know, again, it's radiating in all directions, okay? And uh, so we have the same same reasoning as we just had before. Okay, again, it goes out like that. And then over here. So, you know, we we've got at least a qualitative understanding of what's going on just based on electric fields, which is what we, you know, day one of the course, right? But now that we know something about accelerated charges and how accelerated charges produce radiative electric fields. Those radiative electric fields are just like any other electric field. They're going to cause charges to accelerate if you, we have mobile charges in their presence. Those accelerating charges, that's a current. And that current causes, through this tiny little filament here, uh, causes our light bulb to, to glow because the radiation is, that, ra that energy from the, uh, the current is then being dissipated away as uh, radiation of itself. Now here's a question. So the light bulb is bright, right? It's emitting radiation itself. Why? Why? Why is the light bulb bright? Do we have Do we have accelerated charges? How are they accelerating to give off visible light? What happens? Not just vibration. What think about the model of, uh, of what the charges are doing. Collisions, right? If you have a collision, you definitely have an acceleration because you have a charge that's moving and then comes to a stop. That's a big acceleration, right? That's a pretty big acceleration. And, uh, say again? They're not elastic, right? Because not elastic collisions because that energy is then being radiated away as as light, as light. Okay. Questions here? We're not done with this model yet. We'll come back to this demo a little bit later. The, there's a ter just a piece of terminology also we'll introduce that we'll come back to later. Uh, we have acceleration in limited to one axis. So we have ERAD, a radiative electric field, could be only in the positive x or the negative x direction. Okay? It's not going to be up or down or any other component. This is, we call radiation where it's oriented only along one direction, where the, the field vector is oriented along one direction. There's a special name for that. Anybody know what that is? What type of light is oriented? Pol that's polarized, yeah. So this is called polarization or polarized light. And it's a different use of the term polarization than what we've seen before. We don't necessarily mean here a charge separation. We're talking about a particular orientation to the radiative electric field. 
The light you see ordinarily is typically made up of, you could have uh, ERAD pointing this way coming at you, or that way, 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 or any number of combination of ways come entering your eye, okay? Uh, but if you can arrange it so that ERAD is only in one direction, or along one axis, it's called polarized. In, in fact, in this case, it's specifically linearly polarized light. Because there are cases where you can have it polarized in like other patterns such as circular, which we won't go into, but, but linearly polarized light. We'll come back to that. Next time we will talk about energy and momentum stored in radiation. Okay?